Hello manga gamers, I'll go Bozy J of G's Gaming and we are back with more Genshin Impact. Now it's been a while. Now as you can see right here, I am already at Adventure Rank 13, but as out in our last episode I was at Adventure Rank 9. So off camera I've been busy grinding and collecting XP and items and leveling up my characters is I will uh, pull up right here as you can see uh, my our main guy Aether is now level 20 and I gave him a new weapon an even better weapon I, I gave him this sword that I got from a reward from prom being promoted to the next adventure rank and I already maxed that out, maxed that out as well and I gave Kaya the last sword that I was using and I gave Amber a better bow. And as you can see, there's a sword I previously used. And, and for Lisa, I'm still deciding on a better book to give her. As you can see in my inventory, we got a ton of new weapons and especially duplicates. Now, they're all just um, level 1s and 2s. But we can use those duplicates to help level up uh, one weapon in particular. So as of now, um, I cannot uh, bypass level 20 as of yet because I do not have the required materials. Uh, the ascension materials, as you can see right there, um, I don't have enough of this. I already got enough of this one. Uh, I believe, yeah, recruits insignia, drop five for two skirmishers, etc., etc. And then there's this one, um, mist grass pollen, drop by for two ceasing mages, if, that, if I pronounce that right. And then there's this one, it looks like, looks like a snack, uh, mist vialed or veiled lead elixir. And I don't have that. And apparently, I can only get this in the Souvenir shop in Leeway, which I would imagine is in another is a different location So yeah, so I can't uh, enchant this weapon anymore because it's already at max I need to ascend the weapon in order to level it up some more and the same thing goes with um, leveling up my character As you can see as I pull this back up it's already level 20 and once I click ascend I need specific materials in order to bypass level 20 as I already I already got two of the three materials I still need this one brilliant diamond s uh, sliver yes yeah, sliver and I can only get that uh, from an adventure rank reward so I need to level up more in order to get that one and the same obviously goes for the other characters except that the they want different um, slivers this one in particular for amber uh, Agnida, Agnidas Agate Sliver. Drop by Pyro Regis Vines, etc. etc. As, as you may guess, same goes for Kaya and Lisa, and as well as other every other character. And as of now, uh, from our last episode, we did a story mission from Kaya. We got to know a bit more about Kaya. Uh, it turns out that it was just a setup to help uh, lure out a gang of treasure hoarders, which was successful. But now we know that Kai uh, is like um, a decept, uh, a de like a um, decept, a decept, de de deceiver type, uh, one to like hide things <sighs> in, or do stuff in the shadows. It's like the secretive kind, yet being all cool about it kind of way. Uh, hopefully I described that, that character right. Uh, some people might be screaming at me that my uh, uh, description might be a bit off or might be on point, either of the two. But anyways, uh, we got a ton of new missions after leveling up to Adventure Rank 13. Uh, I did unlock some new features like these commission quests from the Adventurers Guild. And then there's these ones. Uh, which is more like a introduction to some of this um, stores and whatnot. Like this one, Animal Sigils. Uh, I've been collecting a lot of those actually. And then we've unlocked the next Archon quest, which follows the aftermath of um, Storm Terror's attack. We did stop Storm Terror's attack, 
uh, in our last episode. Now we got to report back to Gene um, on on that mission. And we got this one. We got another story quest, but this time from Amber, the uh, the our first the first um, friend we made, the archer, and. There, then we got this one that I unlocked, uh, Lil Chef on a Hunt. I assume it's an introduction to an, a new character. And then this one with Lisa, but I haven't reached Adventure Rank 15 yet, as I'm still on 13. So yeah, still need two more ranks to unlock this one before we get to know more about Lisa. And then, yeah, these are more like um, commission, uh, commission quests where you get rewards as seen there on the bottom of the screen and then there's like the small um, world quest which is located here in Mondstadt so anyways um, we're gonna try and do the, um, the story mission from Amber as that was the first mission that was available to us before the next Archon quest was unlocked so we're gonna go ahead and do that hopefully I don't trigger the main Archon quest um, by accident so let's go ahead and highlight it right now. Uh, where is it? Clyde with the wind. Because I want I want to get to know Amber a little more. Okay, so it's up there. But where is the... Um, hold on, guys. Where's the Shadow over Mondstadt? Okay, so is it along the way? Look! Oh. Doesn't that shop look interesting? Let's see what they're selling! Okay, I might as well, since Paimon's all curious. Uh, what mission is that? Oh, it's the Sigil one. So let's go ahead and see this one first. Welcome. Every treasure here is unique. Guaranteed. <laughs> yep. There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? Um, I can't see it right now. Um, it's also exquisite. I daren't ask about the price. Um, I'll go with this one. It's also exquisite. No need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. No more I accepted here. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of Animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any Animo sigils with you? Uh, I have a lot of those. Uh, I, I guess this is our option. I have a few. <laughs> it seems the Animo Archon approves of your adventures then. More to the point, any animal sigils you find you can trade in here for items in the shop. Okay, might as well take a look. And okay, so we. Oh, okay. So I guess this the, the, these are the ones um, used for t to help uh, level up our characters and weapons. Okay. Um. Uh, man, I'm, I'm not sure what to buy here. Oh, we can buy currency. Um. What was that first one? For uh, was it, which one's the animal one? Is it this one? Because based on the picture, it looks like this is the cry. Yeah, this is cryo. Yeah, this one's the animal one. So, well, so we can only purchase up to six. So, how many do I have? Five hundred twenty-six. Wow, I've been. I wasn't aware how much I had on me already. Um, not, why not? Let's go buy it all. Um. Hopefully I don't spend it all in one go. I don't want to do that. Okay, how about... Um, can we use this for Amber? Let's try that. And... Um, obviously this is Lisa's trait. The, the Electro. And then why not Ka for, for Kaya's? And, um, uh, might as well just buy this, you never know. Probably need that for leveling up. Okay, I'm 
not sh maybe I'll hold on to that on to this for now. Uh, I don't want to buy this yet, but I have a feeling that's uh, going to be important for like, you know, for like the more powerful weapons. So I'll look into that later, and especially this one, five stars. Wow. Oh, this is this is for um, oh that's animo. Okay. For talents. Oh, okay, I forgot about the talent um, mechanics. Probably have to look that up later. Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just keep exploring. Absolutely! What could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? Yeah, are they really just for decoration? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that, but it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Obviously, the reason I need animal sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. Let me see when it's finished. Um, or... I feel like you're making this sound more mysterious than it actually is. Um, let's go with this one. Let me see when it's finished. <laughs> of course. I guarantee you will be quite surprised at the result. Do come again soon, and bring me lots and lots of animo sigils next time. Sure thing, lady. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventures. Alright, quest completed. So yeah, I have a feeling this will be important stuff for leveling up. Um, okay, let's go back to our, um other quest um the word is that on the way all right uh just hold on a sec guys i don't want to trigger the um, main archon quest by accident oh yeah it's definitely that way but we want to go see amber up there Will it trigger if I get too close? Oh, there's Jean. Who is she talking to? Isn't that Jean? Seems she's talking to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> It's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine, that's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Okay. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the God of Cryo. Shneznaya. The God of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? No, not really. Oh, them? They're super famous! Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods' power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. Speaking of power... What is it? There's something I need to show the Knights of Favonius. Oh, let us head back to headquarters then.
We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Okay. Um, I guess we, ac we accidentally Mondstadt started. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Okay, uh, I guess we triggered the Ark Conquest by accident. But, uh, knowing this knowing this is an open world game and that you don't have to follow the uh, main story quest um, right now, I, we can just follow in our own face. So let's go ahead and see Amber first. So let's let's just go ahead and see what Amber uh, wants. Since since again that was supposed to be the first quest before unlocking the next Archon quest, so I might as well go ahead and do this. You know, just to get this side quest you know dealt dealt with. So yeah, Amber, what is it you want to talk about? Right here. Hey, Traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere! How's that wind glider I gave you last time? Oh, it's been pretty awesome. I love this thing. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? Uh, what? Since when is gl gliding... Uh, uh, you know what, um... Uh... A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. What? R oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you couldn't tell us this before? Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what Acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm cool with it. Maybe you can cut me some slack. I mean, you could have told me this at the same time you gave my gave the glider to me. I mean, we really have to do this. Come on, it's it's fine. I can do this. I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. That, that's a lot of information. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books too when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started! Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know there were rules for gliding. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius gliding manual does not sound like a fun read. Yeah, no shit. Well, guess I better get started. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. 
As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Yeah, I, I, I say, I, I'm, I, I was gonna ask the same thing. Why did that manual sound more like a story? Uh, but anyways, what's our dialogue? It reads like a fairy tale. People in Monster really understand their romance in learning to glide. Um, yeah, it it reads like a fairy tale. Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. Yeah. Also, that a that figure. Okay, the actual quest has started. Also, I just want to point out that figure that the story said was the animal god looked very familiar. As if you, uh, if you guys recall, in the first episode, uh, when we first came across um, Dvalin or Storm Terror, as most people are calling him, there was a f an another person uh, who who we saw talking to the dragon and after seeing that story and that uh, figure of the animal god they look kind of similar you don't think they're the, you don't you guys don't think that that person is the same person do you anyways let's go find amber uh where is she 800 meters away oh she's all the way here Okay, okay. All right, we can just teleport there. I mean, can we teleport here? Oh, yes, we can definitely teleport here. Definitely saves a lot of travel time. Which is why I, during my off-camera time, I opened up way more spawn points, which will help me save a lot of time traveling. And boom, here we are. So it's just right up there. <gasps> So let's go ahead and get up there. I swear on you, when you're high up, everyone can hear your voice. We meet again, avid adventurer. Are your adventures going smoothly? That is the spirit. Keep it up. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the guild. The guild receives requests from far and wide each day and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. I await your return with great anticipation. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Okay, we're here. Alright. Hello, Amber. We're here to start our gliding license exam. Great! You're here! Did you have a good read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I read it, but... 
or or the dialogue. I can't say I really grasp the rules. Um, let's go with the first one. I mean, I read it, but uh, let's or let's just go say with this one. Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. I won't say a word. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Huh? What are you talking about? Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animal slime takeoff. Uh, that's not what we read. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what? Amber? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Are you kidding me, Amber? Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. Oh my god, Amber. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Exactly. Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. Oh yeah, definitely is embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. Okay, if it's that simple, I'm ready. Oh. Oh, that path. Alright, let's go! Whoa! Um... Oh, right there? How do you go any faster than this? Give me a boost! Whoa! Okay, got the marker. Marker. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, this way. Got the marker. Give me boost. Okay, that wasn't too hard. You nailed it! But it's no surprise given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. All right. All righty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. All right. As Paimon says, let's head back to Mondstadt for the next part of our gliding license exam. So on to Mondstadt. All right. We're here at the spot. So, let's go ahead and start the next part of our exam. Alright, Amber. Hey, here! Over here! Yeah, I saw you. You didn't have to shout at my face. I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Alrighty then. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. I'm ready. Oh, we're starting now? Okay. Whoa! Oh, yikes, yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I missed the first one. Was there another wing glider here? Ow! Okay, um, marker. Oh, right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I got thrown off a little bit there. But I am back on track. Whoa, what's this? You know, I'm actually glad the timer stopped there. Alright, done. <laughs> Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Alright. Easy! 
You've flown this way before anyway. Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Alright, but I think the, the whole license for gliding is totally unnecessary, but whatever. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Go! And, oh, we're just jumping right into it. Oh, bo okay, okay, um, I probably should have jumped. And give me a boost. Okay, hit the check markers. Uh, okay, uh, check markers. And, uh, okay, got the markers. Okay, more markers. Okay, more markers there. And right here. Windborne Traveler! Whoa. You are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, okay. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. Uh, my gl um gliding license is, uh, it got eaten by a Baron Bunny. <laughs> what is a Baron Bunny, by the way? It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. Wait, we're in the middle of an exam to get a license. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. What the hell? Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Bad time? Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, sure. So, I passed? Uh, so I passed? Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought this, um, saves me the effort. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Okay. So now our... So I guess our gliding license exam has been put on hold. So now we gotta go... Uh, track this raptor guy. So... So he said at Springvale? Okay, we have to go to Springvale. Yeah, I think we can, uh, we can make it there. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, um... Actually... You know what, guys? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to call, call it a day here. I mean, I have to, uh, I didn't, I didn't up this, up, uh, update this on my social media yet. But I have an, uh, I have uh, like a doctor's appointment uh, the ne uh, in the morning, so I have to get ready, make sure I get well rested. So I'm gonna have to pause this video right here and continue uh, some other time, because um, I have a slow. I just learned um, few uh, last month or a few weeks back that I have, I currently have uh, brat bradycardia, which is a slow heart rate, and if it's not looked at. Uh, soon enough, it can become a serious matter. So yeah, I gotta get my, I gotta uh, get get um, checked up with with a doctor, see what um, his um, his or her recommendation would be in regards to you know solving my slow heart rate. So yeah, uh, if 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to stay up to date with every uh, with all my latest updates and latest videos, please click that subscribe button. And then after that, click the notification bell so that you would be up to date and stay notified on all my latest updates and videos. And without further ado, Madam Salamat for watching Manga Gamers. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Ingat!